Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. As you all know, Halloween is literally around the corner and I got a costume idea that I thought would be pretty cute to like kind of put my own twist into it, you know, like make it my own. It's not like I got a costume for this character. It's more like I put together an outfit and I'm feeling like it would look really cute. So from the thumbnail, I was going to tell you at the end who I was going to try to recreate. But honestly, from the thumbnail, you could probably figure it out. So I am going to recreate Black Swan. To be honest with you, I don't particularly consider it like a favorite movie of mine. But the look is cute. I feel like the look is cute. So I think I could definitely recreate it. And I did already put some foundation i'm just gonna go ahead and keep blending it i think that for this look i need to do foundation first and then do my eyes because she does have like eyeliner that goes all the way to the back i'm gonna show you some of my inspiration i'm gonna put it right here for you to see i'm sort of trying to recreate that you know it's like a a dark like seductive like really really sexy look so that's exactly what I am trying to do today. I am going to go ahead and put on some concealer, but I'm not going to blend it yet. So I'm going to go ahead and put it underneath my eye. I have like a little tart one and I have my regular House of Labs, but I really want to finish this tart concealer first. Okay, I think I'm going to put more after but i'm gonna use the house of lab one. Oh my god i think i'm gonna put more after but i'm gonna use the other one which is actually not house of labs it's hourglass i always get the two mixed together because they both start with an h i used house of labs foundation and then chart concealer and then i'm gonna go in with the hourglass concealer later on for now i'm gonna put a little bit of that tarte concealer on my eyelid i'm not really sure it's, if it's gonna grab anything i feel like it's pretty much finished now but i like to use this sort of as a primer so i'm just gonna blend it with my finger just a little bit and then before I do that whole like eye look with the wing, I'm going to do my eyebrows first. Okay? And the way I've been doing eyebrows is with a brush, this like little, little angled brush and the Mario palette. This one is that Master Matte palette. I love his palettes. I go with like the darkest brown here. I literally just go in with the color at the end because it usually is more intense when I first grab it and then whatever's left I will put it at the beginning of my eyebrow okay it's not too bad I honestly want it to look more like natural rather than too dark so I think this is perfect I'm gonna go ahead and now do my eye look so I'm still gonna use the same palette but I'm going in with a different brush if I could find my other brush Okay, I'm going to go in with a little blending brush and use like these really light shades of like nude. Where is it? Right here. Like the light shades of the nudes. Just to sort of create like a natural shadow there. Like not too much, just a little bit. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and do the eyeliner. So for the eyeliner, I'm using an angled brush again. And I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild palette. I want to use this because it has a very intense black. And it's more like a creamy color. So I feel like this would work really well. Okay, so I'm not going to lie. I'm starting to feel like I look like a freaking raccoon. Because this type of shadow, like this type of look... It just never has suited me that like black inner corner. I just feel like it it never looked good on me. But I'm gonna trust the process. I know usually eyelashes fix everything. So I am gonna go ahead and blend this out. I added the hourglass concealer. 
and I'm just gonna try to wing it out a little bit well I feel like it's starting to look a little funny but it's not horrible so I'm gonna blend in the inner corner foundation so I'm gonna blend in that concealer that I have in the inner corner and put a little bit on the other side and I'm not gonna go too high up with it just because I already put that black shadow there and again on this side okay honestly thought it was gonna be more black than this but I feel like it's not OMG I have oh, no it's not super black I don't know if I should go in with a little bit of the black shadow on this palette to go over it okay i think this is fine i'm gonna leave it like that and now i'm gonna go in with a little bit of concealer right here and right here and i'm gonna put it on my forehead and on my jawline just gonna go ahead and blend that out really quick and do my foundation I think I'm gonna do a reverse contour for this look because if I remember correctly in the movie her skin tone is like pale and her eyes are very very dark so I'm gonna leave it like that and put on some blush And for blush, I'm using this Benefit blush. I honestly don't know what shade it is. But it's like this peach color blush. Okay. And I think that... Okay, while I let this kind of dry a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and do my lips. So I grabbed some options for my lips. I was either like between like a brownish color or this color, but I feel like this purplish color is gonna look good. This one is Night Moth from MAC. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with this. Okay, so the camera had died, but I did my lips and I really didn't like the color and then I went ahead and just put my lashes on instead of using the other lip liner I think I'm gonna go in with this Makeup by Mario in the shade Smoky Pink I just feel like this would be prettier with the look just because the eyes are so intense already okay, then I'm gonna go in with that same brush that I was using the blush with and blend it out just a little bit more just so that there's not such a harsh line. Okay, so my hair is pretty much in place already and I put that tiara on. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put on the costume. So I was thinking this skirt would be really cute with this corset top right here. This does tie into a bow. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on and I'll show you how it looks. And that is going to be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, check out my description down below. I have my boyfriend's channel linked. I have the channel that I have with him linked down there as well. Go check those out. Go subscribe. And I will see all you beautiful people in the next one. Bye!